What is up guys, Plant Commander here, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Metroid Fusion. I have been wanting to LP this game for quite a while, and I was a bit unsure of how I wanted to approach it. Also, uh, just messing with the controller a little bit. I'm playing with this on Wii U, so, um, yeah. That does have a screen smoothing feature, but I am going to leave it turned off, because the sprite work in this game is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I really want you to experience the game how it was intended, and it, it looks freaking fantastic. But yeah, Metroid Fusion. One of my favorite Metroid games, easily in my top five, without a doubt. It's a fantastic game, and mm, I'm tempted to say it's my second favorite Game Boy Advance game. It's that freaking good. So, without any further ado, let's start Metroid Fusion. Gonna start a new file, of course. I'd been assigned to watch over the biological research team, biologics research team. So once again, I found myself on the surface of the SR388. I can't believe I am messing up the frickin' dialogue this early. Well, I guess that's a sign of things to come. It was there that I was attacked by a life form that I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identi identity, blah, blah, identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as the X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had invested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to the Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was, while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X and my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seemed that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X-Parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the, the Metroid hatching my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the biolo- Oh, that was the computer talking. <laughs> of the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last hatch last batch of creatures to be captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that, the, that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. 
my mission on the BSL station will be to, will be overseen by my sh new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. <coughs> Reference to a game that hasn't existed yet! And here we are! The BSL Research Station! I just want to praise the crap out of that cutscene. It looked so frickin' cool! The sprite work in this game is fantastic. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the ex-parasites. The cause of the explosion is a, as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use that. Didn't re I didn't get to see what that said. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now go to the quarantine bay. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that voice. I feel like that would get annoying after a while. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out the details later. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, your classic 2D Metroid controls. Basically, uh, it's very similar to Super Metroid. The big difference, though, is that you don't have an X and Y button because it's, you know, Game Boy. So instead, you have your L and R, instead of being able to use the shoulder buttons to aim up and down, you can only aim up and then choose to manually aim it downward. R instead activates your missiles, and you hold it down and just use shoot instead of hitting a Y button, which would then cycle through your weapons as it did in Super Metroid. That's basically how it works, and honestly, I actually prefer this to the controls of Super Metroid. I absolutely love the whole holding down R mechanic, and it 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 just it works so much smoother. Like in the in the heat of a in like in like the heat of the moment, if something really tense is going down, nine times out of ten, it's a lot faster to just hold down the R button and hit shoot as opposed to like hit Y, cycle through to your super missiles, shoot super missiles, go back to your regular shot. It can be a bit of a pain. And I actually really love the change they went for here. It's it's great. The controls of this game are absolutely fantastic. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Okay, so uh, there's apparently living stuff here. Yeah. Also, music. Music is great in this game. It's absolutely fantastic, and I love it to death. I absolutely love it. So yeah, um, if you haven't figured out by now, the, this game does kind of tend to go for a much darker tone than other Metroid games. Not to say other Metroids are, like, lighthearted, but, like, this game especially, it's almost has, like, a horror feel to it, and it's really good. Anyway, first enemy, and it's dead. Well, that somehow got absorbed into my body. Uh, what do you say we go back to the navigation room and see what the hell just happened? Alright, let's climb up here. Also, uh, I don't think this was in Super Metroid. I don't know, it's been a while since I played it. But, um, ledge grabbing. So ridiculously useful. Also, yeah, wall jumping is back. You could still do that. In fact, it's actually a lot easier to do in, uh, Fusion than it is in Super Metroid. Super Metroid, you have to, like, the, the window for you to change directions and then jump is a lot tighter. And it's, and the, the trade-off is that uh, in Metroid Fusion, you can't, you can't like turn around, come on, you can't turn around immediately. Whereas in Super Metroid, you can just kind of infinitely jump off of one wall and it was kind of broken. In this game, you can't really do that. There, You can sequence break a little bit, but um, I'll explain that a little bit more when we get to it. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by the X parasites. The X can mimic its prey and any, spec any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. I know this. I did. Like, you don't need to tell me. Samus got infected and she almost freaking died. You don't need to tell her that. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well, but it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. 
In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. Mm -hmm. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of all breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already d detecting massive bio signs in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them. But you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Now get going. I have released the lock on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. So now that we can open doors, we can actually go back to some other places. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's jump off this. And I am gonna be, I'm not gonna be trying to sequence break all that much. Um, I do know some speedrun strategies for this game, but not many. So it's not gonna be quite as in-depth as my Luigi's Mansion LP, but yeah, I am gonna be covering a little bit of that. Not much, but yeah. Let's go ahead and save our, save our game. Also, I do want to give a bit of a warning that this game is very difficult by Metroid standards. I, it, in my honest opinion, it is the hardest Metroid game. Gonna say that right now. So if I die, I'm just putting that out on the table. That is a very real possibility. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies you your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room before for that download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Alright, so uh, it's time to go get some missiles. Let's get some more firepower here, because all we have right now is a pretty weak beam, and it's uh, not very great. So we should probably change that. <laughs> Just saying, it's probably a good idea that we get some decent firepower. That computer reminds me of a Federation CEO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, irony I decided to name the computer after him. <coughs> Another reference to a game that doesn't exist yet! <coughs> Just wanna say... This game loves to talk about that. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. If, if you haven't figured it out by now, that's a reference to Other M. I won't go over my th thoughts on Other M in depth right now, but I do want to say this. I don't hate Other M. You know what? I'm not going to go super in depth, but... Uh, unpopular opinion. I like Other M better than Super Metroid. Fight me. <laughs> there. I said it. I am not afraid to, I'm not afraid to actually come out and say that. I like Other M more than Super Metroid. That's not to say I don't like Super Metroid. I love them both as games. They're both absolutely fantastic. But I actually prefer Other M. Yeah. Not every day you get to hear somebody say that. <laughs> Electrical interference has knocked out elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It is located here. I am regarding huge bio I'm reading huge bio signs I can't fucking read today, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use the recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. And find a way I shall. So, uh, like I said earlier, you can hold down R and that will trigger your missiles. So, you just hold down R and shoot and that's what, uh, that's, that's what that does. Anyway, glowy. Let's kill it. And that opens a path. So now we can go in here. This is a, I don't actually know what this is called, but we can shoot it and then it dies and stuff. Alright, let's get up here. Also, yeah, okay, so you don't need missiles to break those. You. You just die in one shot. <laughs> You are a pathetic enemy. Also, why is that not the first enemy we meet? You'd think that that kind of weakling would be our first, um, our first target. Also, more missiles. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I am not going for 100%. I'm just gonna throw that out right now. I am going to be gathering as many power-ups as I can find, and if I can find- if I, like, see something off in the corner, I'm gonna, like, try to go for it. But, um, if something is not in my immediate path, I'm not going to look up how to get it. 
So yeah, this is not a super in-depth 100% LP. Go ahead and go ahead and save, because we actually have a boss fight coming up. So I want to make sure that in case I die, it's not a very difficult boss fight, but yeah. I just want to... It can never hurt to be uh, cautious, you know what I mean? Okay, ow. You die. Give me that. And this. Okay, that's an eye door. If it does not have a pupil, then it means it's going to shoot at you. Please die. Uh, did I double it? No, I don't think I did. Okay, you can actually hit them with double missiles by hitting them on the same frame, and I've never actually done it before, but I know it's possible. Okay, nope, I didn't do it. It, 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 ba it basically involves, like, jumping mid-air and uh, getting a little bit closer and then shooting a second missile, like, immediately. It's like two frames, and it's not the easiest thing to do, but come on. You can jump off walls, so wall jumping is... Uh, you can jump off ledges, so wall jumping is an option, is technically optional. You never actually have to do it. But, um, I prefer to do it just because it's a little bit faster. And now we have our first energy tank, so yeah. We actually have uh, 199 health. Not bad at all. And here we go! First boss fight. This is Arachnus X. Sort of. There he is! That's Arachnus X. He's going to turn into a ball, and the best way to damage him is missiles. So he's gonna throw these, just unload missiles like crazy on him uh, when he goes like that, and just kind of use these ledges to your advantage. Pump him full of missiles. Ow. Come on. Alright, I need... Can I just... Okay, I can damage him just like that. And, yeah, not bad at all. I was able to hit him already. You can't damage the... That's a that's a core X, by the way. You can't damage that without missiles. And uh, if you do run out of missiles, you can shoot him, and that will make him spawn more um, X parasites. And basically, you can just hope that whatever he spawns is what you need. And there we go. First boss fight down. Not bad at all. Morph fallibility recovered. Press down twice to morph. Metroid can now crawl. <laughs> Here we go. Got the morph ball back. Now, I don't think there's any items in this room. I could be wrong about that, but yeah. Like I said, not gonna dwell over it every anything if I do miss it, so climb up here, shoot these, and now we can go through this little passageway. You guys can die. And let's go in here. All right. Um, can, can you please, can you, there you go, die. And, uh, might as well save our game, we already defeated our first boss. So let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, I actually think I'm gonna call it here. That's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Plan Commander. Be sure to tune in next time for more Let's Play Metroid Fusion. I'll see you guys then.